that you are too. Hi, Miss Cindy back again with another story time from the Anvil Free Library. We are here in a yard in Anvil. You can see there's some bees behind me and we're going to have some stories today about bees and learn about bees. Let's see if you can remember our insect song. Who are the insects in your neighborhood? In your neighborhood? In your neighborhood? Oh, who are the insects in your neighborhood? They're the insects you might meet when you're walking down the street. They're the insects you might meet each day. A honeybee will buzz around wherever flowers can be found they will look for nectar they can take so that honey they can later make sing along oh a bee is an insect in your neighborhood in your neighborhood in your neighborhood oh a bee is an insect in your neighborhood he's an insect you might meet when you're walking down the street He's an insect you might meet each day. Oh. Hi! <laughs> Did you like my special hat? That's to help keep me safe from the bees. We'll look at that again in a minute. Let's talk about bees. <laughs> bees! A story by Melvin and Gilda Berger. Bees buzz around. Bees fly from flower to flower. They look for food. Bees pick up pollen, the yellow powder in the flowers, and carry the pollen away. Bees sip nectar from the flowers, that sweet juice hidden inside, and fly home with the pollen and the nectar. Where are they flying home to? Bees live in a hive. There's a hive inside of a tree. They put the pollen and the nectar inside. Bees make the nectar into honey. They eat some of the pollen and the honey. People also build hives in wooden boxes. They take the honey out. Here we see a beekeeper. And then the honey comes to our table. Honey is yummy. Thank you bees. Thank you beekeepers. We're gonna take a minute to go back here and look at these beehives with our friend Marty Brandt, our beekeeper. Hello boys and girls, my name is Marty. I'm the beekeeper and we're at my hives in my backyard here in Anvil. And we're gonna look at a hive and show you what parts there are on it. Here at the bottom, you can see the bees flying in and out of the hive. They're going out to collect pollen and nectar. And they bring that back into the hives and they use it to raise babies in the bottom boxes. And then in the upper boxes, they store the nectar and turn it into honey. So I use my hive tool to open the boxes and do inspections. And I use my smoker to calm the bees when I do my inspections. So we'll be right back after we open the hive to look on the inside. Well, welcome back everybody. We've taken the top off the hive and pulled out a frame that has honey. And you can see the bees crawling around on this frame. Some of it is capped. When the nectar they collect is ready to turn into honey, they cover it with wax to preserve the honey underneath for the long cold winter. And that provides them food to survive. So we're gonna put this back in the hive so they have this to eat over the winter. And we'll go ahead and put this box back on. That's the top. See the bees crawling around on there? We'll just put the back 
Put this on the top of the hive. And finally, we'll put the cover on it. That keeps the rain and snow out of the hive over the winter. So there you saw what the inside of a hive looks like. Thank you, Marty. That was very interesting. And here's a jar of honey that Mr. Brandt took from his hives back in June. And that's how it can come to your table. Yummy. Let's see if we can do a little fun here. Can you make a beehive with your fist? Enjoy this one. There he goes already. <laughs> here is a beehive. But where are the bees? Hidden inside where nobody sees. Watch them come creeping out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. Can you do that with me? Let me see your hive. Here is the beehive. But where are the bees? They're hidden inside where nobody sees. Watch them come creeping out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. Can they buzz around? Buzz up high. Buzz down low. Buzz fast. Buzz slow. Buzz to the left. Buzz to the right. Buzz all day. But back to the hive. Sleep all night. Good night, bees. <laughs> We're going to finish with a silly story about a very greedy bee. He wanted more than his share, didn't he? This is a story by Steve Smallman, illustrated by Jack Tickle. That's a fun name. There's lots of bees in the honeycombs inside the hive. In a busy, buzzy beehive lived a very greedy bee. All the other bees worked hard making honey and cleaning the hive, but the greedy bee spent all day gobbling pollen and guzzling nectar. The greedy bee wouldn't share his nectar with anyone. He wouldn't even let a tired ladybug sit on his flower. Find your own flower, he shouted. This one is mine. Mine! And one day, the greedy bee found a meadow full of the biggest, juiciest flowers he had ever seen. He decided not to tell anyone. Yummy! He buzzed. Lots and lots of flowers, and they're all for me! Wow! Look who we have here. Ha! Ah, there's our greedy bee. The greedy bee whizzed and bizzed from flower to flower, slurping and burping and growing fatter. And fatter. And fatter. And fatter. At last his tummy was full. And he settled down on this big pink flower in the warm yellow sunshine, and he fell fast asleep. When the greedy bee woke up, it was dark. He tried to fly, but his tummy was so rolly and poly that biff, bang, boom, he went down instead of up. And he crashed. Biff, bang, thump. 
right to the ground. Oh, no. He's too full of honey. Nectar. <laughs> it was dark. Oh, I'm scared, cried the greedy bee. And I don't know how to get home. I can't fly. Then he saw two glowing eyes in the long grass. Eek! He cried. A monster is coming to eat me. <laughs> but no, it wasn't a monster. It was two friendly fireflies, their bottoms glowing in the dark. What's wrong? They asked. I'm too full to fly, wailed the greedy bee, and I can't walk home in the dark. Well, follow us, said the fireflies, and they all set off on the long, long journey home. That was very kind of them. <gasps> through the forests and flowers, through the squishy mud and over the hills, and under the stars trudged the greedy bee. He had never walked so far, and he was very tired. We're nearly there, called the fireflies. And then they heard the whoosh of running water. What could that be? I'm almost home cried the greedy bee excitedly. It's the stream! And it was. But his hive was on the other side of it. Oh no, said the greedy bee, sadly flopping down on the grass. How will I ever get across? We'll help you, said a tiny little ant with a big leaf. How is that tiny ant going to help? Well, the ant and his friends flipped the big leaf into the water. Jump on, they cried. Helped by the fireflies, the greedy bee and the ants made their way, splishing and splashing and paddling to the other side of the stream. cheered the greedy bee. Where have you been? asked the other bees. Oh, I overslurped. I would never have made it home if my new friends hadn't been so kind. Now I'm going to share my best honey with them. Would you like some too? Yes, said the others. Let's have a party! Everyone enjoyed a midnight feast of yummy, runny honey. All except for one very sleepy, very happy, but now not so greedy bee. There he is. Back in the hive. Are we ready? Here he goes. <laughs> you might like to make your own little bee puppet. This is in your kit. If you didn't get a kit this month, you need to check at the library for this, the craft things in a bag. Very easy to put together and all the instructions are in there. And here's a maze. You can help Miss Queen, Miss Queen find her way back to the hive. Don't forget, you need to come in this week and start picking up your packs for October. We'll have some new, a new book and some new craft things and Mr. Beekeeper Brandt 
gave us some honey sticks that we're going to put in our October bags for another little snack. So I'll be looking for you very soon to come into the library. Don't forget we have lots and lots of good books about bees and other bugs. See ya later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Give a hug, a ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See ya soon, you big raccoon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. See you next week.